In this video from Casio Help, we're going to demonstrate how to turn off the advanced cashier assignment and interrupt function on the SRC range of registers. So this video presumes that you've seen my previous video on setting up the advanced cashier assignment and interrupt and that you no longer want that to work on the machine and you just want to log in or not even log in, you just want to use the machine without logging in or certainly without interrupting each other. So just to quickly demonstrate that, currently on this machine I've got the interrupt and assignment set up but I've changed the way I work and I now just want to be able to process a sale without logging in. So to do this, key to PGM, arrow down to system setting, logging in for one last time, down to system setting, CA amount 10 to go into it. Now this, what I'm going to show you now is the exact opposite of what I've shown you in my previous video. So it might be different if you've not followed my video on how to set up the cashier assignment. So have a watch of this video all the way through till I get to the end. And then if you're happy that it's the solution to your problem, by all means, go ahead and do it. Once I'm in PGM mode, I need to go to free subtotal to get to the right menu and then 2722 followed by subtotal again and then zero cash subtotal and that's part one of turning the function off we also need to deactivate the button we set up to make the cashier interrupt work to do that four subtotal zero this is the tricky bit you've got to remember which button you set up um, if you did set one up I used price so I press that and then I press subtotal to finish now when I turn the key back to reg mode I've got no cashier logged in but I'll be able to use the machine so no longer am I signing in I do lose the ability to track sales by operator and to interrupt people so I can only have one sale open at a time but the tills a lot less cumbersome to use hope this video has been helpful um, you can check out more programming videos that are probably appearing on screen now you can subscribe to this YouTube channel or you can visit casiohelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.